We were talking in the previous episode about uh, American Western movies. And I include in these Western movies, gangster movies, mutant movies, um, post-apocalyptic movies, samurai movies, um, that the, the classic American Western hero is the warrior archetype par excellence. And one of the points I, I was trying to make, and I'm going to make in this episode, is I think a lot of us contemporary, particularly males, but females too, are living a kind of a version in the modern world of, of the Western hero. Now, when I was uh, writing my newest book, a book that's coming in March about my favorite character, Telamon, called The Man at Arms, and although it was set in the ancient world, it is set in the ancient world, I wrote it very deliberately as a Western. And I kind of characterized Telamon as a gunslinger. Even though he does not have a gun, he has a sword, he has a bow, he has all of the weapons of the ancient world. And again, the reason why I wanted to do this was because I felt like the Western hero has resonance with the issues that a lot of us are dealing with today. And let me just sort of go through some of these um, attributes of the Western hero. The, the Western hero is usually a man with a past. Um, in classic Clint Eastwood type Westerns, he's somebody that came out of the Civil War, like Kevin Costner came out of the Civil War and has been, um, you know, scarred by that. In samurai movies, they usually, there are the Ronin, the masterless samurai who have been scarred by the, the period of falling from grace. In mutant movies and post-apocalyptic movies, the man with a past comes from something. He's lost his wife, he's lost his family. Even in the John Wick movies, he's lost, his wife has died, he's traumatized, he lost his dog, his wonderful little dog. So I think a lot of us are kind of living that, whether it's something political, whether it's something personal, whether it's uh, something that happened in war, in the military, we are, a lot of us are kind of a man with a past or a woman with a past. And the Western hero comes out of that and is a kind of an individual, an isolated individual. And he's an individual with a code. And the code usually has to do with some form of violence or um, expertise with something like a Clint Eastwood cowboy is, you know, got is great with a six shooter, a samurai is great with a katana, et cetera, et cetera. The other thing is that the man is alone. And he's usually alone in a, in a vast landscape. If it's the American West, if it's like Mad Max where it's a post-apocalyptic desert in Australia, if it's the samurai era, it's the, the Ronin era, if it's a mutant era, even a gangster, which is also a Western character, is in a kind of an urban wasteland type of, type of uh, situation. And the man has a code that he lives by. And he, so in other words, what he's trying to do, the Western hero is almost always trying to do, is to move beyond that isolation, to move beyond the sort of the, his guns or his sword or whatever it is. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to take this character of Telamon and set him in the equivalent in the ancient world of a Western setting. Because as you can tell from some of this, the stories that I've cited about Telamon in the past, he is trying to move beyond. He feels like he is stuck in this warrior archetype. He's living life after life in it, and he can't get out of it. And now to go back to our classic American Westerns and samurai movies, almost always what happens is the solitary gunslinger finds a cause of some kind. And it's usually, it's usually someone vulnerable, someone that needs help. If you think about Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven, he takes on the prostitutes in that town of Big Whiskey, and he tries to help them. Um, John Wayne in The Searchers, eventually he kind of saves Natalie Wood. Um, even uh, the um, Kevin Costner character in Dances with Wolves, he takes on the cause of the Lakota Sioux people. And so that is, I think, what many of us, the state that many of us are in, in family life, or in trying to find something that is beyond that sort of lone, isolated character in a kind of a desolated landscape, trying to move beyond the warrior archetype into something that involves love 
Actually, the movie that I'm thinking about right now is the movie Logan. If you remember that one with Hugh Jackman as the sort of human version of the Wolverine with the claws, you know, where he is saved. And as his dying breath, as he finally dies, he says, having found love with a young girl that he's protected, he says, so this is what it feels like. And he dies. So anyway, this is what I think when I ask the question, are you a Western hero? I think a lot of us are in that stage, in this warrior archetype stage and trying to move beyond it to whatever that next archetype is. Mm -hmm.